this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to show you another pink flower design that I'm going to paint on this bottle. It's more of a branch, flowery branch, as opposed to just flowers. And I'm going to be using, uh, the brushes I'm going to be using are the number 8 Filbert brush, the Royal Aqualon, and then the number 10. I've used these in the last probably couple of videos. And then my plaid number 2 brush, my script liner, and then one of my new favorites, which is the number 2 Deerfoot Stippler. I'm using that for my centers. Paint I'm using today is magenta, wicker white. Switching my greens up a little bit. I'm doing bright green and hunter green. I'm also using uh, burnt umber and warm white. Hopefully I got them all. Oh, wait a minute. Yellow ochre. I'm using yellow ochre as well. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the script liner and I'm going to be dipping it into the burnt umber and just coming across my bottle, I got to be careful here because I don't want it to come too much onto the sides because I don't want to get my hands in the way and smear it off. Because many of you that have watched my videos know that I have a tendency to do that. And so I'm just going to do it a little bit here so I can try to keep it towards one side of the bottle and try to keep my fingers out of it or keep it from hitting the paper here that I have laying down because I'm good at that, really good at messing my painting up not on purpose but I have a just a natural way of getting my fingers in it always a thumbprint so I'm just randomly painting this branch on here with the script liner and I'll tell you I really haven't used one of these that often as much as I've painted but I really find that I like it a lot so I'm not sure why I have not used it sooner but I think that it allows me to make some of the strokes that I want to make and some of the designs I want to make real, relatively easy now I like to use at least two colors when I'm doing my branches and a lot of times it's at least a darker brown and then a warm white. Sometimes I actually use warm white and wicker white. Sometimes I use more than one brown. Just whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with and you get the results that you're looking for. That's my recommendation. I mean just because I feel comfortable with this doesn't mean that that's the same thing you have to do um, just pick pick your colors even though I give you what colors I'm using it you know definitely branch off and use your own if you have other color combinations you're looking to paint especially if you're painting this and you're planning to keep it or gift it you know don't don't necessarily paint with the colors I'm painting with just because I'm painting with them. You know, use the colors that work for your project or what you have on hand because I sure don't want you to go out and buy more just because this is what I'm painting. Alright, so I've got my branch on and again I'm just trying to keep it simple, keep it on part of the bottle so that I hope I can miss sticking my fingers in it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is start off with basically double loading my filbert brush. And I do dip, and I'll show you, I dip one side into each color so that I have, you know, two colors in one. At least to start off with. Now, these are just simple 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 flower flowers and I am just going to pull this 
you can use you know whether you want to use your flat brush or your um, fabric brush and just have it go like this or you want to turn it on your side to make some of the strokes you can do that as well they don't all have to be the same size going around your flower you might want to have a, a tendency to do that not necessary definitely not necessary all right so I am just going to continue to build my flowers up here hopefully stick my paint in the in the paint right the right direction and these can be four five six petal flowers again they don't all have to be the same they don't have to be different it's however you're you're painting them is great and I'm just going to go back over them a little bit here you know with my painting I do like to have it be more opaque and reason being is that, that the thicker your paint is put on the more durable your paint is going to be just so you understand that that's the reason now on this one I'm going to go over it a little bit more just kind of blend it a little bit more when you're working with wine bottles because I am doing this on a wine bottle I don't know if I mentioned that or not just make sure that you do clean out the inside of the bottle as well as the outside and it's just that if you don't the inside is going to get nasty and you're going to wish that you would have just for warning definitely just trying to give you some heads up on that part because I had people collecting them for me a while back and they weren't washing them out and I'll tell you I couldn't do anything with them I ended up having to throw them out because I couldn't stand them they were so so nasty they just weren't rinsing them out and I just like I said I just couldn't couldn't handle it couldn't stomach it all right so <clears throat> because I'm working in a, a smaller space area than I was with my sample I you know I'm not making it as big so I want to watch where I'm placing my flowers because I don't want them on top of each other I want them spread out a little bit I still want you to be able to see the branches and Yeah, I like being able to see some of the branches. Now, if for some reason it gets to the point where you're not seeing a lot of the branch, then, I mean, you can always add on to it. And I do apologize. My furnace is starting up. I try to miss this, but I think in just about every video it ends up, it ends up happening. So I apologize. I try to speak up so you can hear me. Hopefully. And you don't have to have clusters, but I kind of like them to be, you know, maybe have a cluster of one or two or more in my cluster. Again, that's up to you, but I think it's neat just to have them, a few of them clumped together. I'm just trying to get this little do hickey up here like that okay so how many do I have I have six right now and I might put a little bit off to the side here if you get too much paint on your brush make sure you scrape it off you don't have to have a ton of paint in order for it to be nice there we go And the greens that I'm using today in this project are not my favorite greens. So you probably wonder why I'm using them. 
I, I'm just using them honestly to kind of veer off a little bit from my norm. As I know, I have a tendency to use Thicket all the time, which is my favorite green for leaves. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see here. Now I think I have I have an odd number, which is good for me. The next thing I'm going to do is work on my greenery. And the greenery is going to be done also on a filbert, a small filbert. I am double loading the two colors. And then I'm going to tip and put it into the wicker white. And reason being is I just like to have a third color. The white has a tendency to help make it more opaque. There seems to be more pigment in it. And so that helps. Now you can, you know, pull a stem into these if you want. On my painted design that I was doing prior to this, I wasn't really doing that. But I'm just going to go around and just sporadically place these. I don't want to have a ton, but I, I want to have enough. And this one, I don't think I got any white in it, so it's not as opaque. And I just want to try to keep them small. They don't have to be real big. I'm just going to come out here, pull them down, right here, pull it down, just put a few around it. Try to get up as closely as I can so that way I don't have to pull the stems because I think it looks fine without that. Um, let me go back up here. Here. And you can put the light on the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter. You can move it around a little bit so that it varies. It doesn't all have to be the same. I just want to be careful too that I don't work my paint too much because then it will start lifting the paint underneath if I'm painting over over some of the wet paint. If you don't like painting over the wet paint, give it some drying time. Hit it with a heat gun, hair dryer, help it along. I don't personally, it doesn't bother me to be uh, working on it wet. So I'm going to continue to do that on my videos. But if you're someone where that's not something you like to do, you like to keep it clean and crisp, then by all means, um, let it dry. We'll give it some drying time. All right, so I'm going to do down here a little bit. We're almost done. So thanks for sticking with me on this. I appreciate it. I really do. And I hope you like this, like this design. I like it. I think it's pretty. Just kind of fun, light and easy, which is what my videos are supposed to be. It's my intention is to keep them light, easy and something that you can paint and not be afraid to paint because I, I want you to paint. Now just going back to the bottle, just make sure that whatever you're painting, whether it's a bottle or a wine glass, it doesn't matter, but make sure that it's clean that you actually uh, took off some of the paint, see, took it off, that you actually you know, wash it and then you can hit it with some rubbing alcohol just to 
um, give it some added protection because I mean I don't mean protection per se but the thing of it is is if you are <coughs> excuse me if you're cleaning it and then doing that that will actually just give you uh, more assurance that any kind of like say oil from your fingers you know the type of thing that that you're actually getting that off of the bottle or your glasses now right now I'm just tipping in in the center of these with the yellow ochre and my deer foot stippler and I do like these brushes if you're not familiar with them they're kind of slanted so I think that that helps too with being able to tap in a center nicely I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do for their centers. I feel like I do basically very similar center every time I do a flower, unless it's just dots. But you can keep working your centers and getting them just exactly the way you want them. You just need to find the right tool, what works for you. All right. So I've got this, and I'll kind of show you. See if you, if you see it. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's kind of slanted, and so then the top part is longer than the back. And one thing nice about that is it, it allows you to get the top color in nicely, and then you can come back in and tap in the bottom color which is going to be brown and when I put this on my brush I do tap my plate a few times just to get the excess off of it because I, I don't want it to be real heavy I think this one's a little bit heavier than I'd want um, I'll put it in here, I mean you can double load <coughs> excuse me, on these brushes if you want and I might come back once I get some brown tapped in here, come back in here and do that with the yellow ochre. Because I feel like on some of these, oh, that's too heavy. Some of these, it's, um, it's pulling it off. I'm going to put some yellow ochre and just kind of bang it. And see, it just kind of by doing that, it's gonna be a real smooth, real smooth look. This helps me tap it in, make it look nicer. And I hope I'm getting this. That's why I say, I mean, you, you just play with stuff until you feel comfortable with it. Realize that when you start painting, you're going to get better as you go. But here it is. Just a fun little pattern. Put on a wine bottle. Can you imagine painting this all the way around it and putting lights on the inside? Wow. How pretty is that? Alright. Well, I hope you like this. It's just a quick little video to show you this design. I uh, would appreciate it if you do like the video to give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you hit that um, button that has you subscribe along with the notification bell. And then at the end of the video, once you're through watching it, you'll see a share button underneath the video. Make sure you hit that because that will allow you to share my video on your social network with all your family and friends. And I would appreciate certainly appreciate it. All right, so hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for stopping by. Um, again, I'm truly grateful for you as my subscribers and visitors. And until the next time, you have a good one. Mm -hmm.